Hi folks, welcome to the final part of replacing, uh, or making a replacement of this broken boat switch. In part one, we machined the underside, and in part two, we made this fixture that it's now clamped to. That gives us full access. We're gonna take it easy to make sure that this fixture is holding it rigidly enough. We're gonna get rid of this top material, and then we're gonna use Fusion 360, we've got a Tormach 440 here, to go ahead and do some 3D tool pass to hopefully get this lofted shape. One of the great things about self-fixturing like this is we pick this back left part of the fixture as our work coordinate system in Fusion. And that means all we've got to do to find our zero is jog down here and do so with the Heimer. And that lets us take a part which otherwise doesn't really have a good point to use, especially since we left stock all around it as well as the top material and we should get on located pretty accurately. Folks, we are running a T-Blaster campaign. You can help support our channel and buy a pretty cool Saunders Machine Works t-shirt over at T-Blaster. Link here and in the video description. We appreciate the support. Actually, I made a mistake. I forgot that we set the bottom height as the model bottom, and that meant that the ball end mill didn't get to fully profile out the part because of the nature of it being a ball end mill. So we're running a little bit more, we're running it about 0.2 inches deeper here, which will cover the radius of a 0.275 ball end mill, and that should clean up the very little last part of that floor.
God, look at that finish, folks. Um, this is coming off a machine which, as it sits from in my shop, is about 10 grand, but the base mill is five grand. I think this is incredible. Uh, I, I really, I just do. This is just awesome. Of course, when I was taking it out, I freaking dropped it and nicked it on the vise, but that's not going to matter because, as good as this looks, we're actually going to head over and powder coat it. I've got something special finish uh, in mind here for when we end. Our fixture worked too, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and I think any reason we couldn't make a second one with that same fixture, which is great. Damn, things really on there. Hmm. Uh, let's try this. Without the washers. There we go. Other than having to clean out those pockets, I think that's a winner. Let's powder coat it. Um, we we just preheated it. Preheating it helps burn off the parts cleaner or acetone that we use to clean it and uh, it takes the powder a little better. I was going to use some regular old Vaseline and coat the inside of the pocket because we're going to reuse that fixture and I want it to be a good fit, but it's going to be hard to get in there. Um, and I, I don't think the powder is actually going to flow in there anyway, so let's give it a shot. Twenty minutes in the oven. Do not tell my wife I know how to use one of these. Well, here we have it, folks. I think that turned out great. We'll see if it fits, but uh, should I think it'll be fit. We've obviously got that very important weight-reducing cavity so that the boat doesn't uh, keel over. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call that a wrap. We're just going to go package her up. Love how that diamond engraver pops. Buy a bunch of Allen keys and include them when you ship out parts like this. It's so nice. It costs you a nickel. Ship it.